So the next thing I'd like to talk about, uh, some of the things I like to do is I think it's really important to work on quarter swings and half swings. For me, a quarter swing is where the, the hands go back to about here. And to me, this is where I want to I want to have my right elbow connected to my body still. It's not going to fly off. But everything's all still tied together. And I can get that toe turned down so I've got a square club head. So I'm going to aim at that little red flag out there. And basically, what I try and do is I just take the club back and do a little slide and turn. And I wanna keep my hands in front of the ball and keep that club face stable. So, it's fun to kinda of try and uh, hit a straight ball like this. I found that uh, when I do this move, um, this was first taught to me by Roger Dunn, the famous California golfer who owns all those golf shops. He passed away two years ago. But instead of, my, instead of telling me to turn the toe down, and this was kind of me having to decipher this, like what in the world is he talking about? He said, back in the 50s and 60s, we knew, we knew we were in trouble if we were gonna play around against some guy and he had this position right here. Whenever we saw that, we knew we were in trouble. And I'm like, what the hell is he talking about? You know, everybody always talks about the cup in the left hand, is it flat or is it bowed? But the only way I could get into this position, I'm sitting at home in my living room going, what in the heck is he talking about? The only way I could do that was if I bowed this left wrist and turned that toe down. This is what taught me how to break 80 that first year and I did it 14 times. I still didn't have the whole picture put together, but at least I had, he gave me the stable release. And the thing is, when I do this, uh, it's kind of like Dustin Johnson or Graham McDowell. You see those guys who did, they just go ahead and square the club up the whole time. David Duvall is like this and they just rip it with their body turn. Um, for me, unless I open the club face a little bit, the ball tends to draw. And I think that happens because the, the arc of the swing is inside to inside. If it was going like that, it'd probably have a little cut spin on it. But I'll try and draw this in at that red flag. And so that's the, the basic technique that I used to break 80. Well, the beauty of it is, I didn't want to stop there. <laughs>